Hello there. I see a few people hopping on. I'm going to check my sound is working. Yes, that's good. Let me know who's here. How are you today? Hope you're having a good day and finding some time to get out into the fresh air, do some crafting. And I'll just wait till a couple more people jump on. Lisa, how are you? Are you back home or are you in Mexico? <clears throat> how was your trip? Lisa, the world traveler. Oh, there's a few more people jumping on now. Good, good. Oh, let's... oh, you're in San Francisco. Great. Are you home soon? Got off the ship and to spend the night in the city. Nice. And then you're heading home, are you? All right. So let me get rid of this here. All right. Well, welcome everyone. Got a few people hopping on. Just chatting with my friend Lisa. She's been on a on a cruise. She's been through the Panama Canal and all kinds of exotic places with her mum, so I live my uh, vicariously through her travel schedule. But welcome everyone. Happy June. Can you believe it's the 1st of June already? Um, and we're nearly halfway through the year. Oh my goodness, time is just flying by. It's so, <laughs> so crazy. So, um, but anyway, welcome everyone. I'm glad you're here. And if you're watching this on the replay, welcome to you too. Welcome if you're on YouTube watching. Um, so, lots and lots going on in the Stamping Up world. Um, today, June 1st, is the start. We have just one month left of this lovely catalogue. It's always very sad when we have to say goodbye to catalogues, but then we always have a brand new one right on its heels, so that's exciting. So this, we just have a month left, and today the, the last chance sales um, start. So there are lots of items that are discounted. Um, so yesterday, what I did was I actually did a See, is this the one that's marked up? Yes. I actually did a walk through the, the catalog yesterday. It, um, if you missed it, you can go back onto my, it was right here on my Facebook page. So if you missed it yesterday, you can go back and take a look. And I went through every page. Um, so you can, you can skip forward if you skip through it fast. But I went through every page and I pointed out all the items that are retiring, those that are carrying over, those that are discounted. There's some really good um, deals. There's even some stamp sets on um, discounted, which is quite unusual. So go take a look, on, look at that um, and be sure you can go online too and um, look at everything that's um, on sale. But if you've had items from here on your wish list that are retiring, don't wait grab them now because they're only while supplies last and the popular items will sell out sell out very fast and even the stamp sets stamping up will stop um, stamping up makes their own stamp sets and they will stop selling they will stop ma manufacturing them um, now probably so when they're gone they're gone um, so they're only while supplies last there's no guarantee that things will be here until the end of june when the catalog actually officially goes away so <clears throat> don't be disappointed um, you know grab what you've had on your list um, now before they sell out so that's going on so that's very exciting the other exciting thing that's going on is we have a kit promotion so something up has a kit program i've got some to show you um, that they started i don't know a couple of years ago maybe and 
recently they've coming been coming out with about every month one every month which is really awesome and we have quite a lot we have over a dozen different kits now that you can purchase some of them are um stamping kits and some of them are simpler that have no mm, don't even have any stamping required so i wanted to show you a couple oh and so the promotion um i should tell you what that is the promotion is that you buy one and get one at half price and what's even better um is that the half price one is the most expensive item that you get discounted which is really unusual normally in a buy one get one half price it's the cheaper one that they discount so they vary in price range from um I think the non-stamping ones are around the $12 mark. And this one, I believe, is 19 or 21. And then there are some that are 25. <clears throat> so you could get one of the one of the um, non-stamping ones, one of the $12 ones, and then you could get one of the more expensive ones at half price uh, for only $11.50 or $12.50. So a really good deal. So this one is called, I thought I'd show you a couple. This one is called light the candles and this one we had and it was so popular that it sold out like right away but it's back so um i'm very glad to see it back so you get really um detailed instructions show you exactly what to do and i made up a couple of the cards so that you could see what they look like made up and then i'll show you kind of what you get in your kit so this is one of them and it has a matching envelope um and it's very 3D. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very 3D. So this has the birthday cake and the candle. And then the other one is really fun. This has a bunch of candles. And again, it's very 3D and it's um, kind of glitch, glit, kind of glimmery underneath. Hip, hip, hooray, today's your day. Um, and there's little embellishments on the candles. And then there's a matching envelope to go with that. So a really fun kit. So like I say, this was super popular and sold out right away, but we do have them back. So you get your instructions and um, you they show you what, show you exactly how to put them together. There's little um, instructions on uh, what the little symbols mean. And um, it's very straightforward. And then in every kit, you get a block. Um, a stamping block so these are nice to add to your collection you get an ink spot you get your ink and then you get in the stamping ones you get a stamp set and and then you get all your other so here's the little embellishments that here is are the um, dimensionals to put behind to um, you know to pop the pop the cards up um, Look, here's all the little pieces, all the die cuts for the cards. Oops, I just dropped that, <laughs> dropped, dropped that block on the floor. This is what goes behind the candles. You can see it's kind of glimmery. Um, and here's all your pieces for your sentiments. And then there's the, um, the rest of the card bases and the envelopes. So you get everything you need. And usually there's lots of little pieces that you have left over too. And of course, you can keep your, your ink. And um, everyone has a different color, so you can start to build up a collection. <clears throat> so these are really fun, um, like over the summer, if you're going to be doing some traveling. Um, really, all you'd need to add to this is maybe a pair of scissors, um, adhesives in here too. Um, and so perfect to take with you in your RV or your camper. Um, or if you're going to see family, take, you know, where, where it's going to be kids, take some with you. There's a, there's a robot one that's really fun. I'll show you that next week. Um, <clears throat> let me show you one other one. I was going to show you the project. we were. Let me show you the project we're going to make today before I show you the other kit so that you won't go away. <laughs> we'll take a little break. So for my class, um, a couple of weeks ago, one of the cards we made was this card. I meant to show you this right at the beginning, but I got so excited about the kit promotion. And then we'll go back and look at the other kit. So this was one of the um, cards and this Kristen designed this one. And um, it can be a Father's Day or a birthday card. And it's using the <clears throat> Whiskey Business stamp set that's actually been around for 
maybe a couple of years. It's really cute. It's got some lovely punny sentiments, sending you an old fashioned birthday card. Being dad is a whiskey business. Straight up, you're the best. Cheers to you, your top shop. Um, so she used that one. But um, I thought it would be fun um, to make some, because not everybody's a whiskey drinker. I thought it'd be fun to make some one for the beer drinkers out there instead. And we have this brand new stamp set in the annual catalog called Brewed for You. Um, and it's got all these different beer glasses and um, and it wouldn't even have to be beer, I suppose. Um, it does have dyes too. I'm not going to use the dies today. I'm just going to use the stamps. But I thought it would be fun to make one. I'm, I'm going to do a Father's Day card today because Father's Day is coming up in just under, just over two weeks, right? Two and a half weeks. So this would be a perfect birthday card. She's done one. She did one as a, a birthday card. Um, and then she did one as um, a Father's Day card. This one says being a dad is a whiskey business. Happy Father's Day. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to make today. But <clears throat> let me show you the other quick kit quickly. So this one is called, let's see, what is this one called? This one is called A Million Thanks. So this is all thank you cards, which I love because I always need lots of thank you cards um, to my customers and um, other other people. So look at this one, how pretty that is. Um, the card base is really fun on this one. It's in, it's embossed. Um, so really pretty. And this one, which again is embossed. And look at the font of this sentiment. I love that. And then this is the other one also embossed. And again, I love the um, font. And then you've got your matching, matching. All the envelopes are the same on this one, but they all <clears throat> match really well. So really pretty. <clears throat> so let me show you all the bits and pieces that you get inside of that. <clears throat> so again, buy one, get one at half price. <clears throat> perfect for camping, perfect for um, when you need a quick project. And what I like is you feel you still feel like you're being creative, but because so, even sometimes me, you know, I love to make elaborate cards where everything is done from scratch. But sometimes I need a quick card or sometimes I've just kind of lost my mojo. My mojo has gone on vacation and it's really nice to sit and do. It's so relaxing just to sit and make up one of these kits. So I do make them quite a lot. So here's the stamp set. And I love this. This is definitely going to stick around in my um, with my stamp collection. I love that big thank you. Um, that all I can say is thanks. Seriously grateful for you. Hi Vicky, how are you? Um, a million thanks and there's some little flowers but I love that big thank you, just love it. Um, you get an evening evergreen, so the other one had a blue, I think balmy blue, this one's evening evergreen. Again you get a block, you get some little embellishments and some dimensionals and some glue dots and then there's the envelopes. So this makes nine cards, um, th three of each design. The birthday ones made, I think, 10, and you got five of each, I think, or eight, four of each. I think it's 10. And then here's all the bits that I didn't use. So you're going to end up with um, a couple of extra of these because you only need three total. Um, and you're going to end up with some extra of these and these. Um, and here's the die cuts. I always save... I never throw this stuff away until I'm sure that I don't want to use it because I always think I could use this um, like as a mask or a stencil or so I always save them <laughs> thinking I'm going to do something great with them and then invariably I don't but I always keep them just in case and there's the glue dots and then here's the rest of our card bases so um, and where did the instruct right here so put all these away and again, the instructions, um, in fact, I think they've made them even easier now. They tell you, they work through one card at a time and they tell you exactly what pieces you need and what kind of adhesive you're going to use and just goes through one at a time. So very easy. Um, 
and and of course you can if you want uh, follow them just the instructions just like they intend or you could do something completely different you could add some of your own um, products or embellishments or do different color inks um, but I do love that that Everything is in here um, self-contained. So this one I think is $21. So this, if you got this as your half price one, it would only be um, $10.50, right? I think it's 21, it might be 23. It's 21 or 23, but you can go onto our website and look um, under kit collection and you can see all the kits that are available. There's over a, over a dozen now. And I'll show you some more as we go through the month, but it's just for the month of June. <clears throat> so and the popular ones will sell out they're just while supplies last so again kind of like the last chance sale don't don't wait around um too long okay so here's back to our project for today here's one card that i made with um the beer glasses instead of the whiskey i feel like i could have put a couple more beer glasses on here so the next one i make i'm gonna do better and add a few more but let's get started shall we so you'll notice this is a slimline card and um, gosh, I feel like I'm talking really fast. Am I talking really fast? <laughs> I swear I've only had one cup of coffee and that was at um, 7.30, but um, I feel like I'm going, I'm just so excited with everything going on, I think. So let's grab, I've got two pieces of white, basic white card stock here, and I will put the dimensions on afterwards. This is a slimline card, which I think is about eight and a half by three and a half, I want to say. Let me grab my ruler and I can measure. <clears throat> Lisa says I'm not too fast, so that's good. I feel like I am. Um, okay, so the card itself, let's measure, is, oh, she's done it at three and three quarters across here. So that would be, you'd need to cut it at seven and a half. And then this way is eight and a half. So um, you wouldn't need to, this is the width of a piece of card stock. Um, and then you're going to cut it, so this is the width, and then you're going to cut it at seven and a half this way. So slimline cards are, I think, are really popular at the moment, and I really like them. The downside to them is you can only get one from a piece of card stock. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But I think for a special occasion, um, they are really nice. And the great thing about these, let me bring back the ones that Kristen did, is that... Um, we have these slimline envelopes um, that are the perfect size for them and she's done them to coordinate so this one is soft succulent and it goes um, with that envelope and then this one is smoky slate you also get a white envelope you get a pack of three different colors so this one you can see is um, smoky slate so um, we do have the envelopes um, all ready to go for you so you don't have to worry about finding envelopes if you don't want to get our envelopes or if you need one if you need an envelope at the last minute you can just use a business envelope I think there are a number 10 envelope just a regular business one and that would be a good size um, for your cards all right so let's do a soft succulent one I'm gonna grab my um, stamping pad here because I'm going to stamp off a little bit I don't want to stamp on my <clears throat> desk let me go the clean <clears throat> piece of grid paper this grid paper is great it's actually designed to go in your stamparatus but I do love it just for things like this all right so we're going to start out by doing the background and the stamp I'm using for that <clears throat> is from this stamp set it's called artistically inked and it's this stamp here and it's very cool it's like um, kind of a watercolor uh, water I don't know it's just a very cool stamp if you don't have this one um, you can here it is you can you could either do a watercolor background yourself or you could find another stamp that you have that's just kind of a watercolor look um, background stamp um, so just find something that you already have. So this time I'm going to do the soft succulent version. And <clears throat> I think, let's see, should I stamp off? 
Let me see how dark it stamps on the grid paper. Heat and cut my soft succulent because I don't want it. No, actually, I think that's going to be good. I don't want it like too overpowering. So let's do, I'm just going to do random. Oh, no, that's nice. See how pretty that is? Um, I'm just going to do some random <clears throat> kind of, and I do want to leave a little bit of white space. I'm going to turn the block around. And I can stamp it again to get some kind of lighter areas. But it's really fun. You want to make sure you go off the edge a little bit. There we go, I think that's good. Maybe another one in there, light one. There we go. So you can keep stamping, it just gets lighter and lighter each time without re-inking. Look how pretty that is. Right, let's do a little bit <clears throat> for the inside. And I'll just go kind of across the corner. Hi, Margaret. Just hopping on. Great. Welcome. How are you? Good to see you. Hi, Kristen. Look what I'm making. I'm making your card. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll just go like that. There we go. <clears throat> all right, let me put my soft succulent. I think that's all I need the soft succulent ink for. So I can put that away. Then I'm going to bring in my Sahara Sand ink for the mugs. Now, <clears throat> I'll do the inside one first. And let's see, I'm going to grab my... Now I'm using this mug. There are a number of different styles <clears throat> and I did try some of the others, but um, I still liked this one best. It kind of had the most um, interest I felt. So I'm going to do that one, but you could do um, whatever style of glass or there's the, um, what would you call this? Uh, there's a name for that when it's a beer. It's not a tankard. It's not a pitcher. I can't remember. If anyone can think of it, tell me. Um, so let's do this and we'll do the inside. We'll do a couple of glasses. Like maybe one here. And one like this. And maybe one on the top. Pint. Well, pint is the, yeah, there's a, there's a, a term for that. Um, that kind of urn type thing. All right, and um, we can do the inside sentiment while we're at it. So I think I'm going to do on the front, I'm kind of going backwards here. On the front, I'm going to do happy birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to, I lie. I'm going to do happy Father's Day. And on the inside, I'm going to do cheers to you. Now, cheers to you is actually from the whiskey stamp set. But I figured it would work on this one. So let me see if I can get this. There we go. Cheers to you. So that's the inside. Oh, and I need to do the little, um, there's this kind of foam um, for the top. So let's put that on. And it lines up really easily. Look how fun that is. There's a die for this too. So fun. So that's the inside all done. I'll put that to well, except for the coloring. And we'll put that to one side. Now let's work on this. Let me turn this over so it's not so messy. So now we'll do, and I'm going to put a few more. And like I said, on this one, I feel like there's a little too much open space. So I'm going to see if I can do better and add a few more. Um, so there's still time to order this for Father's Day. I'm going to do it round. It's a bit darker up there. No, I think that's good because some of this will get covered up, won't it, by the sentiment. So 
let's do one down here. And we'll do one like this. Just kind of turn them random directions. But I'm going to do try and put a few more in than I did on that first one. Let's see. That. And then I can go in and add just a couple of like little um, extra bits just to fill in. I think that looks good. Aren't you? Okay, now let's go put in the, um, let's see, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a bit better maybe. Now let's go add the um, the foam onto all of them. The head, is that what they call it, the head? So I had a, um, I dated a guy that uh, many, many years ago in my youth, and he always insisted when we went to a pub, you know, because he used to go for, to an pub, English pub for a drink, he always wanted to get, um, he always asked for a straight glass. He wanted like this, uh, this glass here. He didn't like the tank, we call that a tankard. So he would always ask for his drink in a straight glass. Um, he didn't like the holding onto the big handle. He was very particular. This could be, um, I don't know, could this be like a root beer float or something too, do you think? Okay, do I get them all? Yes, all right. <clears throat> All right, so how we're going to color them in is using, um, that fun, I'm going to use um, watercolor pencils. Stampin' Up! has watercolor pencils, and here they are. Now, there are two sets. Let me show you them, actually, in the catalog, so you know where to find them. I marked them. So in the annual catalog, let me zoom back out a little bit. They are on page, and this might be something that you've overlooked. Um, page 126 under assortments and bundles. Um, and they're down the bottom here now. They come in two sets, and we are using, um, well, the crushed curry that I'm going to use is in assortment two. But I thought I might try some darker ones also, the early espresso, which is in assortment one. But there's two sets. They're $12.50 for assortment two and $16 for one. So assortment one has 13 pencils and assortment two has 10. Um, and there's all different colors. And you can use them on your own, on their own, or you can use them with a blender pen. And I'll just show you that. Um, and I will show you how to use it in a minute, but it's over the next page. So at the top of page 129 are these blender pens, and I will show you those in a little bit. They come in a pack of three, four, twelve dollars. So just keep in mind blender pens and watercolor pencils. So they come in, the watercolor pencils come in a, um, a cardboard box, but they, they work out really well in our, um, Stamp, stamp cases because you can you can see all the colors so I'm going to grab crush curry and then I thought what I might do is do some like a darker like a brown for a darker beer I don't know how it's going to look it's kind of an experiment so we'll see but um and I've got my pencil sharpener at the ready in case anything breaks so all I'm going to do this is crush curry and I'm just going to color in all right, um, okay, I lost you there for a minute. All right, did I disappear for a minute there? My streaming stopped, which happened yesterday during my um, catalog walkthrough. Are you guys all still there? 
I lost you for just a minute. I don't know how long I was gone for, but I suddenly looked up and there was an error message on my screen. Hello. Let me know if you're still there. Dear. I was gone for a minute, but you're back. Oh, good. Yeah, this happened yesterday. I hope it doesn't happen again. I don't know what's going on. I closed all my other applications and um, about 15 seconds. Well, not too bad. Anyway, so I was coloring in this. Yeah, that happened yesterday. So weird. Still here? Good. Everyone's still there. Good, good. Well, hopefully it won't happen again. What's interesting is it ends up as one continuous stream still when I go back and look on Facebook and YouTube. Um, it doesn't kind of divide it up, so it's 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 good. Because yesterday I had like a couple of minutes gap before I could get back on. So anyway, I've just colored in lightly, and then I'm going back in on one side to add a little bit of shading, um, a little bit darker, and then down the bottom a little bit darker. I figure it would be a little bit darker down there. Um, and then I thought I would try, I might really mess mess this up here and we may not like it at all, but I'm going to try doing some with early espresso because that would be like a, a darker beer. Like a, in England, we'd call it a bitter or maybe like a stout who is really dark, you know, like a Guinness. So I'm going to, we'll see. Say so when you can. You could kind of customize this for the beer drinker in your in your life. My um, my sister-in-law, my husband used to drink stout um, Guinness all the time, and he kind of goes through phases. He he uh, used to drink stout, and then he drank um, the IPAs, the really you know double and triple IPAs, and now he's kind of back to the single IPAs. And he doesn't drink stout really at all. So um, it's kind of funny. So I'm going to go back and do a little bit of shading down the side again. At the bottom. Just add a little bit of more interest. Do the same on this one. So this is kind of fun coloring, you know, it's pretty, pretty easy. All right, let's do this. I should have done that one brown, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, let's carry on. We'll do this one with crushed curry. Um, so you could use regular, I'm using, these are watercolor pencils, but I'm actually not really adding any water to them. I'll just carry on, we'll do... Maybe this one yellow here. That's kind of fun, easy, easy coloring. A bit darker down one side again. And we'll do what color should we do this one? Yellow or brown? I don't know. I think I should have I think I'm gonna do yellow. I've got them all down one side yellow and all the other side brown, but never mind. I should have thought this out a bit more carefully, but that's all right. By the time we put the sentiment on, it'll be fine. I'll do this little one brown here. Let's add a little bit more shading on this one. Oh, and what I forgot to do, let me just color the inside ones. And then I had some little dots that I put on too. So I'll, I'll go do that. So let's do, now let's think about this. Let's do that one yellow. No. And that one. Hmm. Oh, both of these yellow and that one brown. I don't know. Yellow, brown, yellow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not very good at making decisions. Let's 
do this one yellow. Now I do want to show you how to use the blender pens. Um, because if you do like to kind of have your your pencil looking a bit smoother, um, I'm kind of hurrying just for the sake of time, but so you can take your time. But um, adding a little bit more dark here. We're going to go back in with the brown. The brown doesn't go as smooth as the yellow, it seems like. It's a bit, you can see the strokes a little bit more. But um, I'll show you on a little, see if I have a piece of cardstock that I can show you on. Let me see if I have a little scrap here. Or I could do it maybe on the back. Well, I'll just do it on this one as it's on the inside. So the blender pens, they come in a pack of three like this. And what they are is they're, um, they've got two ends to them. And they've got some kind of solution. Um, so they're wet, they feel wet. But what they do is they blend out. So let me see if I can zoom in all the way here. And if you can see, so you're just going to go over where you colored. And can you see how it's like smoothing it out? So I don't know if you can see how it's kind of smoothed out compared to, let's hold up. Um, so that's the one on the inside and that's the one on the, Front. Can you see? It's a bit hard to see on the camera, but can you see how it is definitely smoother? It's kind of got rid of those little um, pencil lines. And then you just want to, before you start on another color, you just want to rub off and make sure it's um, clear again. So let's see what it would look like doing that on the. It does bring out the color, it makes it more vibrant. It's definitely more vibrant if you do this. So you could decide, yeah, look, it's making this much brighter. I kind of like that, actually. Do you see the difference? It might dry back a little paler again. It's probably a bit wet at the moment. But anyway, you can decide whether you, um, whether you want to, I think I might do the brown ones because they definitely um, just go over them a little bit lightly. And then you can go back in and add a bit more um, shading if you want. You can go back in when it's dry. Yeah, I like that. That looks cool. Um, all right. So one thing I did forgot to to add, forget to add, is there's a little tiny. Um, there are these little tiny um, dots, and I thought I would just fill in some of the little spaces. Um, with, I'm going to use the soft succulent. So I'm just going to go back in and put some of those in. Kind of in random. I just feel like that adds a little bit more kind of interest. That's probably, that's probably good actually. Maybe one more in there. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, now let's assemble the card. Um, oh, and I've got to do my sentiment too. So let's just put the inside in. I can do that. Zoom back out just a touch. <laughs> when it being a slimline card, um, it takes up more room on the screen. <laughs> They're a little harder to photo too. If you're taking photos of them, they're a little trickier to, to photo. So I don't know, what do you think about the two colors? Do you have a preference? You know, they're, 
the regular light beer. We'd call that a lager. In England, we'd call the light one a lager or maybe an ale. I guess the dark one maybe is an ale. We'd call that a lager or a pilsner or something. All right, so let me see how she did her. Um, I'm going to put some ribbon round like she did on her card. All right, so let's do the sentiment before I finish assembling. So I've got a little piece of um, basic black. Pilsner for you. <laughs> um, yeah, you can, like I say, you can kind of customize it. So I've got a piece of um, basic black and then this um, gold here, I've got the packet for you to show. Um, this is called the gold and rose gold metallic specialty paper. This um, comes in a six by six pack and you get um, eight sheets. You get four of the gold and four of the rose gold. And it's kind of cool. Can you see even just in the packet, depending on which orientation you have, it looks a completely different color. So that's both gold, but it's got a grain to it. And um, what's Vicky say here? She says she likes the combination. As a beer drinker, I enjoy tasting many styles and the stouts and porters. Oh yeah, porters are dark, aren't they? My favorites. You have several friends who are brewers, so I can make some really great crafts. Oh yeah, see this card would be perfect for you, Vicky. Do you have either of these sets, the whiskey set or the beer set? You're gonna have to buy them. So let me show you the rose gold um, card stock here, which is really pretty too. That's what that looks like. And yeah, it's so um, weird because if you have them, see how they look different when you hold them. The, the grain's going this way on this one and this way, but they look a completely different color when you turn them. She says she has both, Vicky. So you'll have to give this one, a, this card a try. Do you, do you think you will? Hope you will. All right, let's grab my um, embossing buddy. Oh, some exciting news. Um, I can't show you yet, but the embossing buddy is going to be back in the new mini catalog. And it's in a set with a little tray and a brush. So exciting. So let's stamp. So I'm going to stamp. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, I'm looking forward to making some more sets of the, this beer one. My husband likes whiskey and my son likes whiskey too, but they're definitely beer drinkers also. So let's see if I can get this. Now I'll show you where the Happy Father's Day comes from. It's from another stamp set. Hopefully that's straight. Let me just heat emboss it and then I'll show you where this comes from. So I'm using gold embossing powder. This. I need my clothespin. I never remember to bring that over. This is the first time I've used this set, but I can see it's going to get lots of use. Um, I don't make many masculine cards, not that this would have to be for a guy. There are women that are beer drinkers too, as Vicky just said, she likes, enjoys beer, but, um, I make handmade cards for my family, but I don't take them to make them for other men because I, I feel like they don't always appreciate them. What do you think? <laughs> so let me just do this. I'm going to let it warm up for just a second, hold it away from the microphone. I need my little clothespin. I'm going to burn my fingers if I'm not careful. Hold it under the camera. There it goes. So there's a bit hard to see. There's Happy Father's Day. So I'm going to attach this to um, and I'm going to offset this a little bit like Kristen did. So let's see, I'm going to cut 
this down a little bit. So let me attach this first. She has it kind of offset a little bit. So I'm going to do it like that. And then I'm going to get my scissors. I'm just going to do it by hand. You can do this on your trimmer, but I didn't bring my trimmer over. See, I've already cut it crooked. Close enough. All right, then I've got some, oh, let me show you the stamp set that that greeting came from. That came from this stamp set, Celebrating You. This was in the mini catalog, but it's also carried over to the annual catalog, which I'm really glad about because it's got a lot of, it's got all the greetings that you usually use. It's got birthday, Father's Day, Easter, uh, wedding. It's got Mother's Day, uh, anniversary, um, welcome little ones, a baby. It's got just about everything. So here's the Father's Day one right here. So it's a great, great set celebrating you. Um, nice fonts too and nice sizes. So that's where that's from. And let's see, Kristen. Yes, I know that's a great stamp set, isn't it? The sentiment set. All right, so I'm going to position this over here. So I'm gonna wrap my ribbon round. No. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back. And let's see, I'll start off with it like this. I think Kristen did something tricky with it, but I'm just going to do it like this. And then I'm going to wrap it around. Like this. And then we'll go over here. See, is that straight? I can adjust it in a second. Let's just trim that. I think that's pretty good. All right, now let's put it onto the card front and I can do the rest in a minute. So just attach this. So this is going on to a layer of basic black. And then this is going to go, I'm going to pop it up with dimensionals. Um, I can't find my little black ones, little, I mean, my big white ones. So I'm going to use some black ones if they're handy. All right, so we'll put this on. I always forget about the black um, dimensionals. It's nice because they don't show when you're using them something like this so we'll put this let's make sure we get it the right way that would be bad so I'm going to put this on the card front on the soft succulent just like that and then I'm going to put this on the dimensionals too I think I'll use some little ones for this One in the middle. And then I just have to tie a little bow. So I'm going to put this just like this. 
And then I'm going to just feed through my ribbon under here and just tie a little, just going to do like a little knot. Do that a little bit shorter. And then you can kind of fiddle with it. Tuck it under, maybe. You can fiddle with that however you like it. I'm not sure if I like it tucked under. Maybe I might just cut it a little bit shorter. I can't get it out again. Because it's going over the word um, day. There we go. We'll just make it a really tiny, a really tiny bow. Tiny knot. <laughs> Let me zoom out just a touch. Right, so now the decision is whether you want to put any um, bling on it or not. So we could do, so Kristen put some of these polished dots on one of hers. And then there's also, and these are retiring and I think they're on sale. So scoop some of those up. And then there's these black matte dots, which I love and I use a lot. So I might use those. Or you could go with gold too. So I think I'm going to put some of these black ones on because they're kind of my go-to um, favorites. But you don't have to um, put any additional embellishment on if you think that's enough. Or if you think it, you know, you can just leave it as it is. But I think I'm going to put some on. Just kind of random. And there. And I do some, usually I just do three, but I'm going to live on the edge and do some extras this time. I'm going to put one right here <coughs> and then I'm going to put one more up here maybe. There we go. All right, so that's the finished card. There's the inside. So happy Father's Day. Cheers to you. And that goes perfectly with the soft succulent envelope. And then let me show you the other one, the other beer one, and then I'll show you the whiskey ones again. There's the first uh, beer one that I made. So do you like just the one color or do you like the two colors? I kind of like how that one turned out, actually. Looks just adds a bit more um, interest to it. I like them both. And then here's Kristen's original whiskey ones. So clear the decks a little bit and let's get the other envelope. There's the smoky slate envelope. So there's the beer and here's the whiskey. So a very fun card, I think. Yeah, the um, the ribbon is perfect. It's um it's early espresso, and though we're using Black too, I think they go really well together. Um, so um, yeah, so I really hope you'll give this card a try and you've still got time, Father's Day is the 18th and it's the first today. So you've still got time to order this um, stamp set, either one of these, the um, whiskey, so brewed for you is the beer one. And then whiskey business is the, uh, whiskey one so you've still got time to get these and your envelope don't forget your envelopes um, in time for father's day and um, yeah that's it so I hope you like today's card um, don't forget all about the other amazing stuff that's going on the kit promotion the last chance sale um, my house code uh, my stamp um, my uh, website are up the top of the screen there so um, jump on and um, place your order and um, I'll be back next week with some more kits to show you and another fun project. 
And in the meantime, thanks so much for joining me and hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye for now, everybody.